gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And thanks each and every one of you very much for making some time to watch the video. Definitely always never take that for granted. Today we're gonna to be breaking myths about pork frogs. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to ignore the myths around pork frogs and tell you guys uh, some really good juice that'll help you guys uh, really maximize the, uh, the times that pork will outfish plastic. And I've got a lot of experience with it, guys. I've been fishing pork since the 1970s, so we're gonna get into that a little bit. Um, real quick before we get started here, just wanna remind everybody out there, uh, please visit our View Product Shopping tab. Um, when you click on the video, when you see the video, the little thing will come up at the bottom of the page that says View Products. And guys, if you wanna do anything to help support the channel, the best way you can do it is to just check out those products that I've listed in there. And in order for the channel to get credit for it, you have to click on them twice. Click on the product, and then you gotta click on the site the product's on, and then the channel gets uh, credit for that every time you do it. So that's uh, much appreciated if you do that. Okay guys, pork. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the biggest myth that there is about pork. And first of all, we'll talk a little bit about it. Pork I use is this new, it's called the Papa Ease Pork. Um, you can get it by going just to their Facebook page, Papa Ease. Guys, I'm actually working with them right now. I'm designing a custom old school pork frog to be matched up with my uh, block of old school jigs here. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But guys, this is a great company to work with. They make some outstanding pork frogs. So we're gonna get into this a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna get into the biggest myth what pork about pork frogs. And then I'm gonna tell you some stuff that's really gonna help it out a little bit as far as when to fish it. The biggest myth about pork frogs is that they're the best in cold water. You hear that all the time about, oh, I use pork if the water temperature is cold, I use plastic if it's warmer. Guys, you can take that, that, that sort of that um, viewpoint and just check it out the window because it's not true. I, I, I couldn't put the bass in 10 bass boats that I've caught on pork frogs in the hottest part of the summer when the, when the water temperature is 90 degrees. Pork will work 12 months out of the year. It's not just a cold water deal. Um, there's something about it that they will just bite it. They'll bite it just as good in the summertime as any time. And in my opinion, the best time to fish pork is between from about, um, oh, probably April into November. That's, that's my time. If, if you ask me as far as, you know, times of the year that I catch more bass on pork, the, the cold water months is the time I catch the fewest bass on it for whatever reason. Guys, and you gotta remember, I fished pork since 1974, you know, forever. That's, that's all we used to use on jigs. For, for three decades, I didn't use anything but pork because they didn't have good plastic trailers. And then what happened is about 20 years ago, they, you know, Uncle Josh quit making pork and there were as many, many years uh, where you didn't see any pork. Uncle Josh is back with them, Papa Ease is back with them, so, it's becoming more and more of a part of my game plan now. So the main thing about it, guys, that here, here's one of the good rules of thumb I'll give you guys about pork the, the, from, from what I found in my own experience. Pork to me is more of a, um, the, the time that you want to use pork is more dependent on the water clarity than it is the water temperature by far. I usually don't use pork hardly at all if the water's over about probably three foot visibility. For me, I do the best in pork when I have water visibilities anywhere between like, say six inches to maybe, oh, two foot at the max, six inches to two foot. And the water clarity that I use, the, the water clarity will dictate the color of pork I use. You know, obviously you don't have as many color options, but you don't need as many color options in that dirtier water. You can get by with some of the basic pork colors that they have here. but. The main th thing about this video, guys, is I just wanted to break that myth. Is like, if you guys are one of those people that think that pork is just for cold water, you're really missing out because like I said, I, if I've probably caught more bass in June and July on pork than I have any other months of the year. And it just really works good that time of year. So uh, don't hesitate to, to use it all year long. So anyway, guys, check them out. You can go to the Facebook page, Popeye's uh, Pork. Uh, Keep an eye out for when my my, uh, my custom old school frog comes out. We're gonna really excited about that. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in the videos, and we'll talk to you guys later. See you.